Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. <laughs> if I got to be the first one to tell you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Yeah, man, we made it. We made it. We're here in 2021. Thank God for seeing not only another day, but another year. Um, yeah, uh, the title of the topic today is called It's a Miracle. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's ironic in a few ways. But yeah, I mean, you know, hey, we're, we're here, y'all. We made it through 2020. We're some deem as the one of the toughest years it depends on your perspective um you know and everything like that i'm sure we'll get into that conversation a little bit in a moment but yeah you know um uh, here we are y'all 2021 um oh well just just to make clear the air or talk about the elephant in the room y'all might be wondering if I did my workout no I did not work out this morning honestly when I got up um I literally came in here and sat down um <laughs> I took in some information and um then I was like I need to get on track and make sure I'm you know say what God want me to say so I did do my prayer meditation and everything like that and um you know reflection and all that and praying and everything but yeah there was no routine y'all probably like oh she's starting the year off wrong she was supposed to do her workout you know x y and z I'm, I'm gonna be working out though don't get me wrong i'm gonna be working out if the lord's will that is definitely the plan um to work out with the faith fit app because i do enjoy it um it's just that today i didn't i don't know i wouldn't say i didn't feel led to do it i, I don't know i just i i just didn't do it i'll put it like that um but, I mean, here, here we are anyway. I'm here to give you guys the juice um, and everything like that. But, yeah, y'all, 2021. If I could just take a moment, just just a moment. Now, I don't want to take too long because, I mean, y'all y'all done been through 2020 uh, as have I, you know, and, and nobody wants to keep dwelling on the past, looking at the past and everything like that. Um, You know, I just think it's very, very interesting. Um, This time last year, right? Everybody was talking about 2020 vision. Um, a lot of people put out the whole perspective of a perfect vision in 2020. That's what's going on. Um, but the interesting thing is, like I shared with you guys in a juice, uh, probably one of the first juices that I did <laughs> back when I started in look 2020. Um, it was pointing out the fact that 2020 vision doesn't necessarily mean perfect vision. Um, I actually looked it up again just to make sure <laughs> um and I, I just I, I don't know I just love the description um I don't know so I'm just gonna share it with you all um uh, in the hopes that you guys will reflect on 2020 in under this lens and not just under the lens of oh it was this it was that it was horrible it was whatever you know what I mean like if you had that perspective, then I guess it was. But for a lot of people, it was the best year. Um, you know, so it's all up to you and your perspective and, and what you uh, took in and received, I guess, for 2020. But this is what 2020 vision means. It says it describes how clear or sharp someone's vision is. So technically, 2020 vision is normal vision, uh, quote unquote. Um and it says that it is commonly used as a point of reference when measuring um, usual acidity, excuse me, acuity, acuity uh, but it is not perfect. So I looked up the word acuity um, just so we can, you know, have a point of reference again. So acuity, acuity means acute. <laughs> I won't say it right. Acuity means sharpness uh, or keenness of thoughts, vision, or hearing, which is so funny, right? The sharpness or keenness of thoughts, vision, or hearing. That's what the definition says of acuity. Let's just let that marinate for a moment. You know what I'm saying? So my goodness for me i'm just like what you know wow you know was 2020 not that i believe 2020 was that if you had the eyes and the ears to see and hear 
you got to like the, the sharpness and keenness of your sight here. Uh, what does it say? Sight, your, your thought, vision, and hearing, man. That's something to just reflect on right there. Just, just reflect on that today. I mean, um, you know, the, the, again, just something to think about. But yes, but here we are. Fast forward to 2021. And y'all know, y'all know a lot of everybody got their plans. Everybody got their ideas of what's going to happen and all of this. Now, I, you know, hey. Uh, I don't know when I started to be on team, just trust God, but, um, <laughs> I, I mean, that's where I'm at, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to make any predictions, uh, of what I feel is going to happen, um, you know, you know, I, I, I'll just say it like this, I've, I've taken in some, some information, uh, and so, I mean, I guess everybody can have their, how can we say everybody can have their uh, desire or their um, not just idea of what could happen. Uh, everybody may have like what they want to happen. Like they, they may have in their heart, like I want this to happen. But at the end of the day, what's going to happen is what one, God allows to happen. Two, God wants to happen. And three I mean even just to reflect on the past few days and talking about God's purpose and will like that that's what's going to happen so regardless of what happens um or what we want to happen you know at the end of the day again it's all about your perspective like because I guess I I say this to say if we go into it with the perspective of hey God you let your will be done there, there's no, you know, there's no disappointments. There's no like high hopes and then let downs, you know, and all that, that we, we often experience in life. Uh, it's more so of, Hey, you know, perhaps there are more surprises or more, um, things that are like, wow, you know, things that we can just appreciate or, um, things that we can grow and learn by, um, you know, it just, it just changes our perspective to look at it in that way of, hey, you know, God, let your will be done. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, that again, that, rem that reminds me of the Lord's prayer, <laughs> uh, which Jesus himself taught us. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I, I feel like we need to just go into every day and every year, uh, moving forward as like hey lord let your will be done um so then you won't be let down or none of that other stuff like you just you know receive what god do and, and are able to handle it accordingly but hey that's just me that's just my perspective that's how i'm gonna look at this situation uh regardless of what people say and all this um i'm just gonna say lord let your will be done and um i pray that i i just do what you put me here to do and, um, yeah, and go with that, y'all, and go with that. Because um, at the end of the day, I, I know my prayer and my meditation kind of reflected on, you know, um, you know, each of us as individuals and how God looks at us and everything like that. And it reminded me of a quote that I shared last night on the God, Sex, and Love page here on Facebook. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to read the whole quote, but... Um, it's basically saying things like we need to change our perspective of how we see other people. Um, and that, you know, we are all made in the image of our creator. And yeah, so it's like we just need to reflect on that. You know, each and every one of us was handcrafted by God and that all of us were created in his image. So, yeah, I mean, obviously we as humans, we are very important to God. Um, and so he's done all these things to make sure that this relationship can be intact with us. And, um, and, and he cares about each and every one of us, you know? And so, um, so yeah, I mean, I guess with that being said, it's like, you know, uh, when it comes to righteousness and justice and all these things, I mean, the Bible says what it says about truth and, and the lie and, and things being brought to the light and all this stuff. 
you know, and again, everybody can have their perspective of what they feel should happen and how it should happen and all that stuff. No one's taking that away from you. Have your perspective. Um, like I said, I have my perspective of what I think should happen or what I think might happen or whatever the case is, but it's not for me to sit here and, you know, espouse to you and be like, this is what's going to happen. Like, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. I, say, I just say, hey, God let your will be done. Whether, whether what I think is going to happen happens or whatever, you know, um, at the end of the day, I know that you care about each and every one of us and that you, uh, ultimately for those that love God, you know, all things will work together for our good, no matter what it is. So, um, yeah, that, that's where I'm at. We're here in 2021. That's where I am at. Um, I, I encourage you to do that as well. Um, I guess that's the one thing that I do encourage you to do and not because I'm doing it. Um, but more so because the that's, well, it's Bible. <laughs> and, um, I just feel like that would, you know, changing your perspective uh, in regards to that will just help you, uh, ultimately in my opinion. Um, but again, pray about it for yourself. Let God lead you in that area, you know, and, and see what he does. Now, in regards to it being a miracle, <laughs> I mean, well, of course, every day is a miracle. You know, um, the, there's the miracle of life, um, you know, everything like that. But um, I just got a couple of verses to share in regards to that. Now, Jeremiah 32 and 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? That is the question. Is anything too hard for God? I don't believe so. But I mean, you know, uh, again, but I guess it's all about your perspective, how you would answer that question. But um, uh, here we go. Luke 18 and 27 says, but he said, what is impossible with men is possible with God. And then again, in Matthew 19 and 26, uh, it says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, What? but with God, all things are possible. So there is the answer to our question that we just asked, y'all. Uh, is anything too hard for God? No. <laughs> everything is possible with God. Um, and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, the, these these miracles of uh, 2021 <laughs> or uh, these miracles in general, I mean, you know, uh, God could do any and everything. And so... You know, I guess we shouldn't be shocked and surprised when we see certain things, but, um, but, okay, I guess good segue, Lord, good segue, <laughs> but, um, here's the thing too, like, like, let's not always be so focused on the miracles of life, um, because, I mean, well, this is biblical. It's not just, it's just, look, it's the biblical, not miracle. Uh, not, well, and I'm referring to myself <laughs> when I say that. But anyway, um, yeah, so because, all right, so check this out. John 4 and 48 says, so Jesus said to them, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. So, I mean, and I, be honest, y'all, that's where a lot of us are. That's why a lot of people either don't believe um, you know, because I guess people feel like there aren't as great as miracles as they are described in the Bible. Like perhaps people don't see the, the miracles of today to be the same. Um, and so people are, you know, if they don't see miracles, they don't believe, um, and everything like that. But the, but the thing we need to keep in mind is this right here. And that's in, uh, second Thessalonians two and nine, it says the coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. So signs and, you know, signs and wonders, miracles or whatever the case is, um, shouldn't be our, uh, confirmation, if that makes any sense. You know, the, like our confirmation should come from God and, um, so yeah, don't just be led by when you see a sign or wonder or something and you're like, oh yes, or whatever the case is. Just don't just go towards everything. As the Bible says, like test the spirit as well as, um, yeah, test the spirit. I'll, I'll leave it at that. And so um, test each spirit 
you know, I would say go to God in prayer about everything that you see and hear. And, um, and he will reveal to you, you know, yay or nay, um, in my humble opinion, but I feel like he will. And so, you know, uh, yeah, I feel like he will reveal to each and every one of us yay or nay when it comes to whatever sign and wonder that we are seeing. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's balanced today. It's, it's balanced that I, I'm hoping that I am encouraging you all to have. Um, it's trust in God. I'm hoping that I'm encouraging you all to have this morning uh, and bring into 2021 with you all. And um, yeah. Yep, that, that's what I got for you in regards to that. Of course, we got a couple of verses in the Go Deeper section for you all to peruse as well. Now, let me see. Is there anything you want me to say, Lord? What? Well, anything, 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 anything. Got a lot of stuff in my head I can't think of right now. So let's go to the Bible verse of today. <laughs> it is 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So here we are in 2021, y'all. It's another chance, another uh, day. Uh, as people say, to get right with God. <laughs> um, and yeah, become this new creature uh, and everything like that, y'all. You know, I hope that this encourages you all. You know, I know that there's a lot on the table. There's a... Um, People say that this is a really critical time, you know. Um, yeah, you know, I, and I know that. Um, and so I'm not going into it nonchalant and being like, oh, y'all, whatever, whatever. Uh, I get that it's a, it's a very interesting and unique time uh, right now. And so a lot is hinging on... 2021 or even the next few days or whatever the case is and so again I, i've heard a lot of things in regards to if you want to say predictions or um ideas or um concerns or whatever the case is um and again I, i'm not here to tell you guys mine or or espouse on you like what i think is going to happen and and what we need to do whatever the case is like you can go somewhere else for that right yeah this is inspiration in regards to just trusting god um allowing god to lead and guide you and you know trusting his will and his way and um you know at the end of the day uh, again i know we went into 2020 thinking perfect vision perfect vision uh when really we got more so of a here what what 2020 actually means which is um you know that sharpness of vision and everything like that but um yeah yeah i mean i guess i guess with that being said it's like don't let's not go into 2021 thinking one way or another i say hey focus on god put him first let him lead you and guide you and uh you know, you, and you can have a blessed 2021, just as many had a blessed 2020, um, and everything like that. But hey, I can go on and on, so I won't do that. I'll let you guys go on the podcast. Thank you so, so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. And that's all for that. Um... Yeah, y'all, you know, here we are, 2021, and um, so I just thank God for being here, thank God, you know, for seeing another day and um, another year, and um, yeah, we'll see, you know, we shall see uh, what the Lord will do, um, but, you know, again, just thankful for this moment, thankful for this time, and um, I pray that you all, too, I, I pray that you are also thankful and grateful for this time as well and um looking forward to see what god's gonna do with 2021 i don't know about you but i'm looking forward to it so all right y'all we'll let you guys go you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support for 2020 i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen for 2021 and what you know god gonna do through little old me um i'm excited to see and um yeah here's the 2021 y'all here's the 2021 y'all have a great great day 
and uh, look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.